Good day folks. I'm headed out to check a couple spots out. I don't know if I'll find any uh, actual bottles or anything like that, but it's more or less just an explorer, but as you can see I'm going up through a graveyard here. I'm gonna head into the woods, I'm gonna go that way, possibly go over to the left there too. And uh, if I find anything I'll get you back up on. Hang tight. I see a lone bottle right here, folks. I'll pull it out. Huh. Interesting. I can't tell if that's machine made or not. That can't be blown. It's a nice color if it is. It's green. It's a little tiny one. I better keep it and check it out. Okay, so I can't tell for sure, folks, but that looks like it's blown. Like I say, I'll have to get home and uh, get it cleaned up a little better. But that definitely looks like it's blown with the tooled lip. If so, that's a nice little find. Cool looking bottle. Okay, viewers, I just located the spot. A bucket, I seen that. There's another one down in there. I pulled a few pieces of metal up. Just pulled this one here out. It's a federal law for bids. Check out the shape of that. Neat bottle. Looks like it's gonna be 1939, maybe. So anyways, I'm gonna dig around down in here and I'll get you back up. Well, that's a good find. I might hit a jackpot here. That'd be nice. I got a daymaker right here. First decent find. Right there, check it out. Glass train, USA. And it's all together. Doesn't look like it's chipped or nothing. Sweet. What a sweet find. All right. All right. On to the next. I'm just pulling out all kinds of liquor bottles, folks. Looks like stuff from the 30s. Check out the size of this friggin' bottle here. All ribbed. A screw top, so... These are all screw top. That's another huge one. A couple of the Kuiper gin bottles. But I just bought this one here. A little half pint down here. Half pint. Federal law forbids and strap side. Federal law forbids strap side amber half pint. Nice little bottle. All right. Holy frig, folks. Can you believe this? Check it out. First, I got that train, and now I got this uh, fire truck, old fashioned fire truck out of here. Perfect. Well, I was hoping to maybe find a poison bottle or two in here. I have dug up some uh, blue shards, but check this little one here. I'll take this too. It's a screw top. It's got a horseshoe on it and it says good luck up here around the shoulder. I think I've seen these before somewhere. Maybe somebody dug one up. One time. Oh, it's embossed on the base too. The horns. Applied for, yeah. Cool beans. Interesting little bottle. Well, I finally pulled out a cork off. It's just a Menards liniment by the 
There we go. It's a pretty common bottle, at least around these parts anyways. But we'll keep it. All right, well, that's enough digging there at that spot, folks. I think I pretty much got it sifted out there. Uh, doesn't look like the stuff's real old, maybe from the 30s. Lots of liquor bottles, but nothing uh, real interesting with embossing on it. A lot of federal law bottles. The thing about that spot there is I walked right by it going one way, and then it wasn't until I was on my way back, coming back, that I spotted it. I was face on to it. So, you got to keep your eyes peeled when you're looking at these things. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here and uh, we'll see you all on the cleanup. Oh, hey there, folks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so uh, welcome back to another uh, bottle digging recap here. Now, this site here, it was just a real small site. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, interesting stuff in it, but it was fun to dig around in. I got a couple of nice things out of it. Uh, I suspect it's probably from the late 20s to early 30s, possibly mid 30s, the site. And uh, as I explained in the video, initially I walked right on by it. And then as I was going back uh, to the vehicle leaving, I actually spotted some stuff against the rock uh, ledge that I had walked by that way and didn't see it the first time. So, like I, uh, like I say, uh, as I explained in the video, you keep your eyes open, boys, I'll tell you. <laughs> you never know what you might walk by. So anyways, let's get started here. We got, uh, this one here is just a federal law forbids bottle. I kept it because it's a half pint and... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've found one that actually says half pint on it and the federal law forbids. So I put that lid on it. And so that's going to, uh, the federal law bottles I believe are 1932 to 1964. So that would put us in that age range in the early to mid 1930s. The same with this one here. I put that lid on it as well. That's a big honker of a bottle there. It does have the Dominion glass mark on the bottom. It's real faint, but you can make it out there. The diamond with a D in the middle. And uh, so that's going to be after, or 1928 and after. So that falls in that age range as well. Next we have this little bottle here. First time I'd found one. It says good luck here. Good luck. Horseshoe. This is going to be a, oh, there it is there, horns. It's a Horns Good Luck Peanut Butter. And I did find a picture with the original label on it online, so I'll put that up uh, here in the video as well to have a look at that. And I suspect this is from the 30s as well. Uh, some information online say say it's later, but I, I'm pretty sure it's from the 30s. Like I say, there wasn't a whole lot in this dump, so it doesn't make sense that there'd be, you know, stuff from the early 30s. And then, you know, uh, two or three things from the 50s. Like, it just doesn't make sense. So, I suspect this is, those are from the 30s. So, next is this uh, green one. And this is actually older. It's a blown bottle, a little blown bottle. And I didn't find this right at the site. I found this up in the woods further by itself. It was just... A lone bottle in the woods. So that's neat. Yeah, nice little bottle. Nice color. Stay there. Now this one is a Menards liniment. It's machine made, so like I say, that I suspect it's from the 30s. Yeah, Hans County Nova Scotia bottle. And then finally we're getting into these candy containers here. Check it out. I just want to go slow here so you can see it is complete. There's no chips on it. I'll put some pictures up at the end of the video as well. And I suspect these are, uh, well this is, uh, first off, let's say uh, it's a VOR, A-V-O-R is on it. I don't know if you can make that out right there. Not Avon. A vor. All right. So that's going to be your uh, pumper fire truck, and it would have had a red metal base on it. 
And it's going to be, like I say, from the late 20s probably into the early 30s. One site online placed it at 1915, but I don't, like I say, I don't believe they're that old. I think they're probably from the 30s. Here's the train here. The same, same maker. Avor. It's right there. A little harder to see, but it is there. There's a bruise on this one. But other than that, there's no uh, chips and no cracks. And those are candy containers. And they would have had candy in them. Pretty neat. So that's going to be it, folks. And uh, this is going to be the last video for this year. And I have some uh, more videos I'm going to start uh, posting in the new year, so 2021. So we'll see you all there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And Happy New Year, everybody. Over and out. What? <laughs>